thanks for being here. I'm Anna, and today I want to share with you how to get your slimline cards to lay perfectly flat. Isn't it irritating when you cannot get your card bases to lay flat? I'll share my trick for getting my regular card bases to lay flat, but slimline cards present an extra difficult challenge. So let me show you exactly what to do to get your slimline cards to lay flat. Let's start with a regular card base and I'll show you how to crease it first and then we'll talk about our extra challenge, the slimline card. So I have scored down the center of this cardstock and I scored on this side. Now typically I don't have much, much trouble scoring the way I'm going to show you here in a second, but if you do, what you want to do is flip this over so the lump or the bump is up. After you have done that, you can fold and you want to burnish it with most of the bone folder laying over top of the card. I always used to see people run their bone folder along like this. So I did that too, thinking that that was the way that you got your card to lay flat, but that is not correct. Uh, if you lay the entire bone folder over the top and score like that, you have a lot better luck. Now let's take a look at the slimline card base. It measures seven by eight and a half. I am going to score at three and a half. Now, if this was a regular card base, I would flip it over and have that bump side up. But I played and played and played with these a few days ago and I finally got this to work and here's how you do it. You wanna leave it the same way that you scored it. So the bump side is actually down. The groove side is up. Fold it over. Now, when I burnish it, I find I have better luck if I start somewhere here in the center, run it out to the end, and then come back to the beginning. What I've found is if I start back here and go all the way at first, sometimes it likes to get a little crooked and a little off. So I do that. I flip it over. All I did was flip this over Uh end for end. So now I have my creases over here. I'm going to do the same thing that I did on that other side. Once from the center, once from back here. Now here you're going to see this is not laying flat and we are going to fix that. Now I want you to open your card up, fold it back the other way, and do the same thing. Now here when you are burnishing, you want to be careful because this has been loosened up enough. You can kind of rough up the edges of your card. It's just barely starting to happen here. So you want to be careful and not press too hard with this step. But can you tell how much flatter this is laying? It looks much, much better. I'm going to flip it over and for end, run this along one more time here carefully. And it lays perfectly flat. So I hope this will help. Get rid of those struggles when you are trying to get your slimline cards to lay flat. I appreciate you watching along with me today. Hope you'll subscribe while you're here. You can find links to my website, lots of other things in the video description below. I hope you have a blessed day and hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.